Hi, welcome to Fast Track Pega. So today we'll see detailed uh, configuration how we can configure multi select uh, in your. So let's say uh, uh, whenever you want to select like a page list or page group, so in drop down value, so you can go with a multi select. So let's say. Uh, uh, you, you may need to select uh, uh, like multiple values from page list or page group so that time you can configure multi select so before like uh, if you go in picker right picker you can add multi select see when I click on multi select see uh, this is like it, it expects an page list or page group property so uh, as of now we don't have any page list or page group property let's say we'll create one and then uh, this uh, this configuration and all, all you know i believe and then if you go uh, the list source would be the only d page clipboard page and report definition there is no there is no property reference here so when you select drop down so there you will get a property reference also right but here there is no property reference only we have d page clipboard page and report definition so you can use any either of anyone i uh, let's say d page so as from i'll use any one d page um for d page uh, I, I don't have any d page as of now configured so I'll use any like existing one say we have some uh, existing d pages let's say py if I get all employees so this is a OTP uh, uh, D page only I'll just use this existing D page so you can use clipboard report, report definition uh, uh, clipboard anything if you required okay um, see, and as of now we don't have any like a page list or page group property right so I'll create one page list property so let's say uh, I'll make employee details page I'll create one see when you can see uh, where it is it is it is showing as a invalid page list or page group that means it expects a page list or page group property so we'll create one <coughs> so i'll create one page list and for this page list i'll give the uh, class references uh, uh, the otb class because i'm using same properties right so I'll open this class object type I'll copy the page definition I'll give the same as uh, my D, D page okay and I'll save okay uh, as of now like our page list property is configured and then if you go uh, we'll select our page list see I have now showing our page list property and I select and as uh, we selected a uh, same our d page so here you need to select like a, a source property let's say source property from d page let's say what I can select like I select p uh, py name so even the from my page list uh, I need to select property that means which property we need to map so even though I just I, ha I have used same class so I can use the, the name as well so if you required you can add multiple uh, uh, like values let's say I'll add any uh, 
uh, what we can, we can add employee ID employee ID so it's all be, uh, based on your uh, own requirement how you will get uh, uh, so based on that you can configure so I'll just uh, submit I'll save it create one case see in multi select let's say I just I can uh, here I can select drop down also see border like I'm I'm able to see the name and the employee ID so which has selected if you select multiple values for uh, like multiple values over here so you are able to see multiple values in drop down let's say as of now I have configured these two and uh, though even though if you want to show in clipboard also so you will need to add multiple like fields let's say I required one more uh, we can add date of birth I will add date of birth also so if uh, how many fields you require that much you can uh, add over here if, if this I'll, I'll tell you later I'll submit let's see refresh okay. we light this value list of damp because we say that no we don't want light okay see uh, we able to see multiple like properties let's say as of now we can also see employee ID also employee ID date of birth also we able to see here Yeah, 1986 uh, Jan 15th date of birth so 1971 this is a data so is as it is if you require more fields right you can configure over here uh, you can select here drop down also you can search you like this I have entered but I am not able to see any pro values right why because when we select this <coughs> drop down here we have an option called uh, use for search so when we select use for search then only we able to search based on that property if we select a uh, use for search employee ID also if we enter number also we able to find based on that search result okay and uh, next here what I can see I'll I'll make and one more thing if you observe here see I have entered a so based on a property let's say whenever we have wherever we have a so it's able to show um, I'll do save and I'll check my clipboard in P work page right if I expand my work page see I can see employee details page if I expand my employee page see I have selected four values so you can see four values the results four results yeah, we have selected date of birth employee ID and employee name so if you have if you require more properties to be configured you can update for that so this is how we can make use of multi-select and there is one more 
uh, checkbox also if you come down see if you want to dis uh, select display maximum number so you can make four or five so max five you can select so minimum you can make uh, it is for validation purpose if you required so uh, search it's a search character minimum two character has to search or one character then only uh, we can able to find uh, the results in our uh, rd page uh, this is max results how, how much results we can display max this is for search character so if you enter like a b so it's starting with a b it will fetch and if you come down right so you have one more uh, checkbox here match start of string so when we select this so it will fetch properties from uh, like uh, all like uh, value results from starting character let's say i'll do say i'll do say If I select search for a right, so only it will it will fetch from for me starting a string character. Let's say py name is a my string character, so it will start from uh, a character. Let's say even though we have multiple uh, a values and last name even in the middle, but it will not fetch for all. So only it will fetch for a starting character which have having a. It uh, basically for string. So uh, this how you uh, this is how you can configure uh, use of multi select list. So whenever you required in your, like uh, any of your requirements. So if you have any doubts regarding this uh, multi select, uh, so you can uh, post your uh, like questions or comment feedback comments. So I'll happy to assist you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Have a nice day.